This time we absorb the sights and sounds of Jamaica we carry out some much needed repairs. Family involved. <laughs> oh, you're camera shy, are you? And we take a step back in time. Jamaica is an overseas British territory country situated in the Caribbean Sea, spanning 4,240 square miles in area. The capital is Kingston, and the island has an estimated population of 2.8 million people. The island achieved independence from the United Kingdom on the 6th of August 1962. We are staying in Port Antonio on the northeast side of the island. Where are we? We're in a hotel. No, we're not. We're in the marina, aren't we? Yeah, gated private marina. Gated marina. We're a little posh. Only for a couple of days. We're not. We had to come to the marina because this is where you get. This is where you get. Uh, you sign in, isn't it? Customs and immigration. And we decided to stay at the marina. It's like 37 bucks a day, isn't it? Dollars. Yeah. We had a visit from the health inspector, which we've never had before, have we? No. On a, when we get into customs immigration and he came on board and he asked us whether we had a holding tank for our wastewater and we said no we haven't got a holding tank uh, we normally what we normally do is we either try and anchor near somewhere where we can discharge our waste like a toilet or something or we store it in a barrel but he wasn't having any of that he said while we're in Jamaica we have to stay near we have to get access to shore so basically we have to stay in the marina while we're here we're not allowed to use our toilet and he actually taped it all up and stamped it so we cannot use it so we're here for the we're here for about a week unfortunately yeah we originally just we originally come to jamaica and we wanted to do a coastal hop down the north side down to montego bay and then go from there to panama canal but because we're not to anchor any we're not allowed to anchor anywhere we'll have to go from marina Marina. it's going to be way too expensive for us to do that so we're going to stay here for about a week and then we're going to go from here to panama am I? Yeah, it's disappointing. Really, it's yeah. disappointing. So we wanted to travel, possibly travel all the way around Jamaica, but yeah. it's going to be way too expensive. And as soon as we leave here and go to another marina, we have to pay for the cruising permit on top of all this. So oh, this, yeah, it's nice. We get to use the swimming pool. Swimming pool. This is swimming pool in the marina. <laughs> Showers. Get to have a hot, hot yeah. shower, water shower. It's a tiny little marina. So that boat out there is paying the same price as us. Anchoring and being in the marina. Yeah. Um, we're going into town, and we first look into town yeah. to have a look for a SIM card. SIM card and some, something to eat. We're already blown away by the mountains and the trees. Oh, it's so green. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Cool little streets, these, isn't they? Yeah. Like little, uh, all them kinds of shops, and uh, they got these cars. These cars, you've seen them on like in a uh, program about Jamaica, they race these cars down the hills, don't they? They do them up, make them really fast. They transport all their goods into the city or the town, yeah. sell their goods and then drive it home on the, yeah. and go back. But it's pretty cool around here. Ah, lovely begins with no. A lot of people don't. <laughs> A lot of people just don't want to be filmed here, so we've got to be a bit careful where we're putting the camera. Alright. No. Really cool carts and things, another cart there. Yeah. Just got to be as friendly as you can to people. Yeah, we feel intimidated as hell, but <laughs> there's not, we've never been out of Britain. The only time we've been out of Britain is we sailed out of Britain. So yeah. It's like, yeah. Weird. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty, it's cool, it's unique, very unique. Yeah. Massively. Massively. Mm -hmm. 
Dennis Rocks From the day I grew up I've been a victim This is a big one Hello in the local shop. Uh, <laughs> difficult. I think that's down there is where you get meat and fish, I can believe. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Adam's interested in these. The prices are all in Jamaican prices, so they're like... Got to work out the exchange rate. Yeah, I'm working it out from Jamaican to US dollars. I thought that was the easiest way of doing it. Uh, they sell meat back there, but I think you've got to queue up to buy meat. Figure all this out, it's so, so crazy. Um, you want it from here? What are you going for? Bacon bits? Yeah, yeah. ask for some bacon bits. I've seen it on the sign up there, wasn't it? Yeah. I guess you've got to come here, then get it. Yeah. Uh, we don't get bacon bits, we'll get pork meats. There it is! Is that it? Oh, french fries. Is that it? Thank you. Okay, get some more with all them instead. <laughs> Looks incredible, doesn't it? Close to bacon, we've got like a tiny... Hello. Hi. <laughs> Little wee we've got... Yeah. She has a job, did not she? Yeah. They're big, isn't they? Wingspan. Yeah. Look at all the dolphin birds now. All the dolphin birds. Birds look like meat products in the water. The rules they had in Jamaica, you're not allowed to put meat, veg, any scraps in the water. I just thought that's really stupid, I'm putting them in anyway. I'm British! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go up, right? Get this. Have a shower. How <laughs> crazy is First time, it's February 16th now, the first time we've had a shower since October last year. Yeah. <laughs> With a grime. <laughs> Scraping it off. The scrapers. <laughs> mm, crazy. It's nice to be in a marina. Yeah, it is. Even though I would rather be an anchor. Oh, I don't mind a year tonight. Access to the... One night then. We've got showers, laundry, which is four dollars a load, and there's a swimming pool to use. Yeah, we'll show you swimming around now. pool. We'll show you around the visit. We're spoiled. We're gonna think we're all rich. How much a night is it? Thirty pounds a night. Thirty pounds a night. It's not bad for a swimming pool. Yeah. Well, we're here in uh, Jamaica, Port Antonio. We've got some repairs to do. We got some rub in here, which is the mainsail has rubbed against here basically over time while we've been on anchor. So we're going to get a patch and stitch a patch all the way down here just to protect this bar. Uh, also, we've got some repairs on the mainsail. We're going to put a patch on there and uh, we're going to try and find a new zip from a dressmaker in town now, because it's rotten. Uh, join us and see how we get on. Uh, not having much luck really. We went to this dressmaking shop here, the uh, dress shop, and the zips they sell are metal ones. They're really, really thin ones, and it's no good for us. Yeah, they're like, uh, like a hoodie t-shirt, the hoodie jumper. They're like them sort of zips. They're not gonna last a month on our sale cover. Salt water. water. Just, uh, we think this is the dressmakers, so we're gonna go in. <laughs> Find out. Find stuff around here. Google Maps are not that like good, is it? No. Okay, after the failed attempt at getting a zip, we have another little job that needs doing. Our spray hood is wearing out where the bar is inside of here. Is this plastic thing in there? Yeah, it is plastic. Oh, she can sort it out. It's not where the bar is in there. No. She's just gonna stitch there and there. The main sail is rubbing onto the bar. Yes, exactly. The fabric is between the bar and the mainsail. Exactly, yeah. 
position where you need to put another strip all the way on there. It's just a reinforcing strip arch, two inches wide, all the way down basically, and we got the material here. This is spare material we've got on the boat, so we're just going to get the lady in the shop to cut a big strip out here, hem it and stitch it onto there. Hopefully she can do it. It's, uh, the machine does look very industrial in there. <laughs> it's, it's, on up to you. it's up to you. Alright. Alright? Alright. It's for our YouTube channel. Okay. TV. It'll be on YouTube. TV. YouTube. Like okay. 10,000 people. <laughs> Oh, when, when I get the money, I should send some. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so, all the way. I could start it from here. here? Correct. Yes. Or from here. Yeah, from about. From about here. Yeah. Well, we could start at the bottom, I suppose, couldn't we? Start it here. We could do. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it must be the whole thing, is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully. We get this done today and all we know we know well, you noticed it the other day and we just on the passage down here wasn't it yeah. i was looking like i could see it was all worn out on the strip there so hopefully fingers crossed the machine can handle it and we can get it done it'd be nice yeah because we've holding the spray for the last few good few years more isn't it? yeah but this is such a cool place have a look around but it's just like a little uh uniform shop yeah it's uh we ever come to uh, Jamaica, Port, Port Antonio, Port Antonio in Jamaica, so. come to this shop. Really cool. So, so this person to do the stitching, and we're going to the shop. I'm gonna get some ice lollies, and we're gonna get one for them and one for her son as well, Johnny. Because yeah. we? yeah. they work too hard and they, they get paid too little. Oh. Which one would you like? Can I give your son an ice lolly? Yeah. Which one would you like? You got cherry or the blue one? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Johnny. You're welcome. You're very much welcome. Have a break and eat it before it uh, melts. Defrosts. Huh? Have a break and eat it before it defrosts. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll sit out there. No rush. No All rush. Right. Do you enjoy that? <laughs> Tasty? <laughs> yeah? Yes, you enjoy. High five? Oh. Yeah. You got blue lips now? Blue yeah. Lips. <laughs> yes, blue lips. <laughs> Getting all the family involved. <laughs> oh, you're camera shy, are you? <laughs> your mum done a really good job. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, beautiful, isn't it? Well stitched all the way along there. Mm. And let's see. Three thousand. Uh, thank you. Is that enough? Yep. This is the end result. This is the strip she put on. It feels extra tight. Yeah, it's thick. I think she's done a pretty good job. She stitched it, hemmed it, stitched it into there. All the way around. It's a lot better. Looks like it's always been there. It does. She was going to charge us £12.50 in equivalent to US dollars, and we thought. Oh, pounds, that was? Yeah. £12.50. £12 we thought, so cheap. She's got this little room upstairs with a little kid, and we thought. I just want to give her a little bit more the, the late the, it's just a good job as well so we gave her the equivalent of 19 nearly 19 pounds wasn't 19 it pound, yeah. yeah for that we took her about an hour to stitch on i think it's absolutely fantastic she's really friendly and a little son johnny really nice we gave him ice creams ice lolly they're really nice and in the uk they would have charged double c yeah she works hard at there you can tell yeah she does and she was honest 
She was honest. She could have said 5,000. Because we went in there, we, when we first went in there, we've been into other shops and people tend to overblow the price because they can see we're like British. Tourists. And they, you know, yeah. got a bit more money to spend. Uh, so she could have said five, 6,000, but she wasn't. She said 2,000, which is 1,250 yeah. to do this work. Yeah. We're in the jerk chicken shop, gonna have some jerk chicken and chips. Yes, yeah. yeah, because when you go to Jamaica, you've got to have jerk chicken. And we have no idea what it is, so we're just gonna go with the flow on this, isn't we? Yeah. Hopefully, it's tasty. Maybe, maybe tasty, isn't it? Well, I don't know, it might be on the wall. <laughs> this is our jerk chicken and chips. Look at that! You've got a pineapple drink as well. Yeah. Warm pineapple drink. Oh, it's deliciously warm. Costs mm. about six dollars each. Yeah, what is that? It smells of donuts. Oh. Tastes of donuts. Donuts. Yeah. Ooh. That's donuts. Donut. That's your mm. afters. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Delicious. What do you think then? Eh? Lovely. So what are you expecting? Mm. I wasn't expecting that, see? What? Jerk chicken, I was expecting chicken like in a barbecue spicy sauce. Is that right? I thought it'd be chicken with um, <clears throat> spicy chicken and chips. It was spicy chicken and chips. Pretty much what it was, yeah. As you all know, we had that problem with the tiller um, and we're going to try and sort it out now. We're going to take the tiller off and have a good look at it. Let's take the tiller head off because it's, it's knocking, wasn't it? It was knocking. Oh, you think we know what the problem was because yeah. we've done it before, didn't we? Yeah. Don't mind this. It's, uh, we've epoxied this on, as you saw earlier, and it's uh, just being clamped down for the day. We just had a gas bottle picked up, didn't we? To we did. Gas. Yeah. It cost $24 for taking the, the old gas bottle away and uh, we, we fill in the new gas bottle, eight kilogram, and return it. It's gonna cost about $24. Ba-ba! I think if you, prep, yeah, so. We checked this before, see? Well, we took this whole rudder apart, didn't we? Mm. And we changed the bushing in the bottom of the shoe. Now this, this shaft is solid, I mean, there's no movement in this thing at all. Mm. I mean, that's slightly worn there on the sides. Yeah, but this looks quite good as well. But what normally do we find this moves out a bit? So we just get a little bit of wood and just bang it a couple of times. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, Luke. Let's go back. I just put the head back on, gave it a brush, pushed the sides in a little bit, and it was a quite tight fit to get it back on, and now it seems yes. a lot better. Best we're gonna get, I think. Yeah. It's always gonna move, it just sits over the shaft thing with a jiggy. So it's like when we're offshore, isn't it? <laughs> so we're off up into the hills, not quite the mountains, but the hills here in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to get some views of this lovely town. It's a bit of a hike. It's probably about two hours up there, and obviously two hours back. <sighs> Getting up the hill now. This is where we came from, just starting the ascent, and look at the view already. Oh my god, do it? It is warm. Good wind out there. Yeah, you see, white horse is out there a little bit. I'm suffering with the heat. It's so are you. I'm looking out for some uh, star fruit trees and mango trees to replenish. Uh, 
sun. Well, we're getting closer to the sun, so it's getting even hotter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. There's banana trees everywhere. Oh, banana things. Look at that. They're everywhere. Fancy a banana? Both ones in Milka. <laughs> That's a lovely view already. Yeah, so what do you make we wanted to come and see? Yeah. You see all the reef down there? Or as Luke would say. Look at the diesel spill down there! <laughs> Look at the diesel spill! That's it. And then you say, it's reef. Oh. It's like we're in Martinique all over again. Look at this, we're like... There's a rope going down here. This rope goes across the path. Where does it go? It goes to a cow! <laughs> Scared the crap out of her. Oh. Hello! Hello, Mr. Cow. It could have been a bear or something, couldn't it? Wow, a Jamaican bear. It's like a banana plantation bits here. Up into a, a settlement. Yeah, small settlement. Oh, what a view! See the marina, just where my finger is over there. That's where we are. This is Port Antonio. You can see how well the harbour is protected from natural harbour. Yes, very much so. Absolutely incredible. Here's the river meandering through the forest. Cold drinks at all? Uh, what? Yeah, Johnny. Please. Johnny. Minute, man. 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 Minute, FDMV. <laughs> oh, sit down. Oh my god, we fell over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that's Yeah, yeah. Uh, Want one of them? Oh, it is. Ooh. How much are they, please? 
Okay. Midnight break for one of them. Yes, please. I have two of these, please, boss. Thank you very much. Don't drink. Yeah, nice. Oops. Sitting here now having a refreshment in this Rastafarian little village. And uh, it's getting fruits off the tree there with a the long stick and poking them down. Look at putting them in, in barrels. Can't get much more Jamaican than this, can you? Especially with a delicious DG cold beverage. Bye, Jamaica. Oh my god. I've never seen anything so big. No. This is dangerous. Yeah, some of them are big. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Thank you so much to all our amazing patrons for making this adventure possible.